and good afternoon. I'm still figuring out my tripod. Decided I wanted to have it in front of my sewing machine. It was set up behind my sewing machine, but this way you can, you know, see what I'm doing a little bit better. Um, I am working on my uh, my trial make of this, the Rita Blouse. I'm going for the puff sleeves, uh, the puff sleeves. Uh, I might try, I think this is a flounce sleeve. I might try that a little bit later. So for this one, I have this very lightweight gingham fabric. It's like really lightweight. Um, it'll definitely be a summer blouse, but it's just a, um, just a trial to make sure that the size works before I use, you know, some nicer material. I took my measurements, checked their measurement chart. Um, this, this pattern is fitted and the torso, but it's like a peasant blouse at the top. It comes with actually different uh, bra cup sizes. So if you're like a size 10, but you are a smaller bra size or a size 10, so or a larger cup size, um, you cut out the size 10 and just cut out the uh, different upper blouse cut size. Um, what I'm doing right here is I'm making French seams. the back, my little back stitch, so this is the seam that I just sewed, and hopefully if I did it right, the seam is encased, there are no frayed edges. This will be the outside and again this is the inside the part that touches the skin um, the encased seam uh, now I could iron it to one side and top stitch it I might do that I might not I'm getting ready to do the other side and the French seam I already sewed the two pieces together and as you can see, this is the raw edge that will fray. So let me get it in focus. And so what I'll do to make the French seam is I'll just trim it a little bit closer. Then I will iron it along this seam and make a nice crease like that. And then I will sew down the edge there and then it will look like this and what I've just done that way I can um, have a finished seam with no raw edges and not have to use my serger 